Oh, it's great to see the relationship between the children and their dogs. Yeah, so nice, beautiful. Absolutely lovely. lovely. And of course, you can see the big fundraising programme for Children in Need after Saturday on Friday at 7pm. So just start watching us and stay with it. Stay with BBC One. Now, should we get the weather? Yeah, let's do it. Alexis is here, and nice and sunny today, but I think you're about to tell us about rain. Yes, unfortunately. What a beautiful day we had today. This squirrel eating its lunch uh, earlier on today, and this lovely landscape shot with the autumn leaves was photographed in Abingdon by Becca Collicott. So through the course of today, we've had lots of sunshine, but we are expecting some rain as we head through tonight, and there is a Met Office warning for that. I'll talk about that in just a second. So tomorrow, the heavy rain will move in, gusty winds in particular along the coast with that area of low pressure. Here's the warning area, the rain warning area. That's valid from midnight tonight up until six o'clock tomorrow evening. Now in this warning area, the low pressure, it has been named by Meteo France as Frederico, that area of low pressure moving in, bringing us the rain and the gusty winds. So the rain will arrive during the second part of the night. Initially, it's clear for northern and eastern areas, increasing cloud from the southwest, the arrival of that heavy rain during the early hours of the morning. Cool for some, away from the rain, lows of three or four Celsius for northern areas, but along the coast, temperatures starting to rise with the arrival of the rain and lows of nine Celsius. So the rain could be quite heavy where it starts to push its way in, moving around that area of low pressure. The center of the low pressure is in actually in the channel and we all see the rain start to clear away but it could cause localised flooding where the ground is already very saturated. Temperatures tomorrow will peak around 7 to 11 Celsius. The rain gradually turning more patchier as we head through tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. So for the coastal forecast the winds are starting to change direction. They are northerly backing northwesterly 4 to 6, backing westerly 3 or 4 and the visibility is good, moderate or good, occasionally poor. So through the course of tomorrow night, further rain is a possibility. Another weather front starts to move in, adding to the high rainfall totals already. That starts to clear away. Clearer skies develop in places and temperatures will fall between 3 and 9 Celsius. So we're expecting a dry start to Friday. In fact, a window between weather fronts or low pressure systems. Friday's a mainly dry day with some decent spells of sunshine. This next weather front will start pushing in as we head through Friday night into the early hours of Saturday morning, bringing some heavy rain and pretty gusty winds. So here's the outlook for the rest of the week. We are looking at some heavy rain tomorrow. That Met Office warning is in force through the morning tomorrow up until six o'clock in the evening. Sunny spells as we head through Friday, turning wet and windy into the weekend. If you'd like to become a weather watch, you can log on to this website, bbc.co.uk forward slash weather watchers. And Jenna. Alexis, thank you very much. I must say, I prefer the sunny spells. I don't I like do rain as well. quite so yes, much. Exactly. Now, you may have noticed we've got this rather nice new set. We certainly like it. Swanky. Brilliant, yeah, it's very nice. really good, hasn't it? Yeah. And we hope you do too. John Cut here will be here tonight with the Late Bulletin at 10.30. And all three of us back here tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Same time, same place, same studio. So I hope you can join us then. Thanks for watching. Good night. Good night. <laughs>